In this lecture we are going to talk about the reinforcement splices. Reinforcement splices are the mode of connecting two reinforcement bars to transfer loads through it. They are of three types, by welding two bar at ends, by overlapping two bars, and by providing mechanical splicing also known as couplers. Procedure for coupling For coupling, first, straightening of the bar should be done. The threading will be done on both sides of the bar for further connection, and if the bar has been connect only on one side then threading should be done on one side. After threading, bars are kept in storage, for their use. Keep the threaded portion oiled as it will help prevent rusting on threads. Once erected, the lap bars are kept oiled and covered by rubber cap till reinforcement is extended further. The threading of bar has been done by mechanical bar threading machine. The length of coupler is 70 mm, half coupler will be used by each end of bars, and the diameter of the coupler will be as per the diameter of reinforcing bar. Length of threading should be 35 mm, for each side of rod. It will depends upon type of coupler to be used. Confirm with coupler vendor's specifications. The testing will be done on coupled bar. The mechanical splicing is very strong. The bar will break but the splicing will remain as it is. The advantages of providing coupler are There will be ease in providing cover. They will prevent honeycombing. There will be good concrete flow due to less congestion of reinforcement. They are proven cost saving and time saving. 